Good day, everyone. Welcome to the day 28 of the Redeemed Christian Church of God Fasting and Prayer. Today, we'll be praying for productivity and our career. And I believe the Lord is going to answer us in Jesus' name. Amen. Productivity is one of the mandate God gave to his children. As we see in Genesis 1, 28, he says that God blessed them and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. We can see after God made man in the Garden of Eden, he then gave us instruction. He gave us commandment to be fruitful, to be productive, to dominate over every other thing the Lord has created. This goes to show that not only are we supposed to be productive as individuals, but God wants us to be productive in every aspect of our life. And I pray this testimony shall be ours in Jesus' name. Amen. This mandate the Lord has given unto us is non-negotiable. It is a commandment. And if we are true children of God, we will be productive when we are constantly connected with the source of our productivity, who is God. So this morning, I want us to start by giving him the praise for the grace he has given us again to come to his presence. Father, we worship you. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. Father, we say you are worthy to be praised. There is none like you. Blessed be thy name. Thank you, Jesus, for your goodness, for your kindness. Thank you for the grace. Thank you for the strength. Thank you for life. We bless your name. Blessed be thy name, Lord. For in Jesus' name we've worshipped. There is none only as the Lord. There is none beside thee. Neither is there any rock like our God. There is none holy as our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. My Redeemer, you are worthy to be praised. Father, we thank you for the grace you have given us. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be thy name. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. Let's thank him for our career. Let's thank him for the grace he has given unto us to be able to pursue the career we have in mind. Let's thank him for the past productivity the Lord has given unto us. Father, we appreciate you. We give you the glory, Lord, for our career. We thank you, Lord, for the successes we've reaped in time past. Thank you, Jesus, for the great feat you've done through us. We give all the glory back to you. We say you you are worthy to be praised. You are the most high God. Father, we exalt your majesty. You are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says it is God that gives us strength that gives power to make wealth. Thank you, Lord, for giving us the power to make wealth. Thank you, Lord, for giving us the intellect. Thank you, Lord, for giving us the wisdom to make wealth, to be productive. Father, we thank you. We exalt your majesty. For the spirit of excellence you have put in us, blessed be thy name, Father. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. We're going to pray, Father, let the anointing for obedience and prosperity fall upon me as it was with Abraham in Jesus' name. Father, let the anointing for obedience and prosperity fall upon me I, as it was with Abraham in the name of Jesus, Father. Let your anointing for obedience and prosperity fall upon me as it was with Abraham in the mighty name of Jesus, Father. I receive anointing for obedience, for prosperity in everything I do as it was with Abraham in the name of Jesus. Father, release upon me all oh, the obedience. Father, release upon me the spirit of obedience, the spirit of prosperity in the name of Jesus. Oh, release upon me, Father. Release it upon me, Father, in your mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. In Genesis 24, 35, we see the servant of Abraham telling the family of Rebekah of how God had blessed Abraham. He says, the Lord has blessed my master greatly and he has become great. Not only did the Lord bless him, he has become great. He was one of the greatest men in the land where he was living at that time. And we're going to pray, Father, let your anointing for obedience and prosperity, let your anointing for greatness in every aspect of my life fall upon me today. In the name of Jesus, Father, release your anointing, Lord, for obedience, for greatness, for prosperity upon my life. In the name of Jesus, Father, release upon me your anointing for obedience, for prosperity, for greatness. In the name of Jesus, oh, your anointing to be outstanding wherever I find myself. Anointing to be outstanding. 
outstanding wherever I go. In the name of Jesus, I receive that anointing. In the name of Jesus, I pray for my children. I pray for my husband. Anointing of obedience, of prosperity, of greatness, Lord. Release upon us in your mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. In Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 40 to 46. After the spies had gone to check the promised land and they came back, 10 of them gave bad report and two of them gave good report. And despite being encouraged that God can do it, the God that had taken you to the Red Sea can still do this. They were saying all manners of what. Then when God reprimanded them, they decided to go up, but God was not with them. They were warned, but they refused to listen and they were defeated before their enemies. We're going to pray. Father, please deliver me and my family from the spirit of non-productivity in the name of Jesus. Father, please deliver me and my family from the spirit of non-productivity in the name of Jesus. I, I ask by your mercy, Lord, deliver me, deliver my family, deliver my children, deliver my husband from the spirit of non-productivity in the name of Jesus. Hey, Father, I pray by your mercy. Deliver me, Lord. Deliver my family from the spirit of non-productivity in the name of Jesus. Father, we will not walk like an early and be ripping like an ant henceforth in the name of Jesus Father our effort Lord will be commensurate with our reward in the name of Jesus Father you will give us even greater reward for our effort in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray the Bible says no longer shall you build houses and others inhabit in it no longer shall you plant vineyard and others eat from the fruit of that vineyard. That is the word of the Lord. We're going to pray, Father. Henceforth, Lord, an end has come to normal productivity in my life and family in Jesus' name. No longer shall I build houses and someone else inherit it. In the name of Jesus, no longer shall I walk and someone else get the reward. In the name of Jesus, no longer shall I put effort in and someone else get the glory. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray henceforth, Lord, you will Cost me, Lord, to reap, Lord, whenever I sow bountiful harvest in the name of Jesus. An end has come to non productivity in my life, in my children's life, in my family, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We're going to pray. Father, you are the source of productivity. I hide in you. Help me to be productive in my career in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, you are the source of productivity. I hide in you, Father. Help me to be productive in my career in all that pertains to me. In the name of Jesus, I receive the grace. I receive the power. I receive the know-how to be productive in all aspects of my life, in my career, in my business. In the name of Jesus, because you are the source of productivity, Lord, cause me to be productive in all I lay my hands upon. In the name of Jesus, your word has said, whatever I lay my hands upon shall prosper. Father, cause me, Lord, to be productive in all that pertains to me. In the name of Jesus, Father, cause me to be productive in all that pertains to me. In Jesus' name we pray. John 15, 5 says, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. We're going to pray, Father, as I am connected to you, Lord. Cause me, Lord, to be productive in all that pertains to me in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, as I am connected to you, Lord, help me to be productive in all that pertains to you. In the name of Jesus, Father, as I am connected to you, I receive the grace, Lord, to be productive in all that pertains to me. In the name of Jesus, Father, I receive the grace to be productive in all that pertains to me. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, I receive the grace to be productive in all that pertains to me in the name of Jesus for in Jesus name we pray we're going to pray father in my career help me to be faithful for it is required of a steward to be found faithful father help me to be faithful in the name of Jesus father in my career help me to be faithful in all responsibilities and tasks that has been handed to me help me to be faithful in the name of Jesus in my time keeping help me to be faithful in finances help me to be faithful in all that has been allocated to me. In the name of Jesus, Father, I receive the spirit of faithfulness. In the name of Jesus, in the open, in, in the secret, when others are not there, I receive the grace, Lord, to be faithful in all that has been laid in my hands, in all that has been laid in my heart. I receive the grace, Lord, to be faithful. I receive the grace to be diligent. I receive the grace to be prompt. In the name of Jesus, I receive the grace, Lord, to do what has been committed into my hand faithfully and honestly. 
In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. We're going to pray, Father. Help me to pursue my career according to your standard for the glory of your name, Father. Help me to pursue my career according to the standard to the glory of your name. Help me to pursue my career, Lord. Whatever I do, Lord, let me do it as unto the Lord in the name of Jesus. Whatever I do, Lord, let me do with the fear of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Father, help me, Lord, to pursue my career according to your standard so as to bring glory to your name. In the name of Jesus, Father, I receive the grace to pursue my career, to pursue my business, to pursue every doors you will open unto me, Lord, according to your standard. In the name of Jesus, Father, I decree I will not follow the standard of the world in my business, in my decision making, in my career. In the name of Jesus, I will not follow the standard of the world. I will not follow the ways of the world. I receive the grace to follow your ways. I receive the grace to do according to your will. In the name of Jesus, I receive the grace to take every step according to your standard according to your will, according to your purpose, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Colossians 3.17 says, And whatever you do, in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Verse 23 says, And whatever you do, do it utterly as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance, for you serve the Lord Jesus Christ. So again to pray, Father, help me to do whatever I do in word and deed. I receive the grace to do it as to the Lord in the name of Jesus. Whatever I do in word and deed in my career, in my education, in my business, Lord, in my interaction with people, I receive the grace, Lord, to do everything as to the Lord in the name of Jesus. I receive the grace, Lord, to do it as unto the Lord, to do it with all excitement, to do it utterly as unto the Lord, to do it with all my power and my strength as to the Lord and not to men. In the name of Jesus, whatever thing has been committed to my hand, whatever task has been committed to my hand, I receive the grace to do them as to the Lord. Not in eye service to people, but to do it utterly as unto the Lord. I receive the grace. I receive the power to do everything in the fear of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Matthew 63 says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and every Every other thing shall be added unto you. We're going to pray, Father, in my career. Help me to seek the kingdom of heaven first in all my endeavors in the name of Jesus, Father. In my career, I receive the grace to seek your kingdom first in the name of Jesus. Father, I receive the grace to seek your kingdom first in my career, in all that pertains to me. I receive the grace, Lord, to seek your kingdom first in the name of Jesus. Father, help me, Lord, to seek your kingdom first in my career. Whatsoever I do, Lord, help me to always consider what would Jesus do in this situation in the name of Jesus? Father, help me, Lord, to seek your kingdom first. Help me to put your kingdom first in the name of Jesus. In everything I do, help me to consider your heart. Help me to consider your purpose. Help me to consider your will in everything I do, in everywhere I go, in the name of Jesus, in every decision I make, in my relationship with others. Help me to consider, oh Lord, what you will do in the name of Jesus. Help me to seek your kingdom first in all that pertains to me and my career in jesus name we've prayed as we read in john 15 5 when you abide in me, you will bear more fruit. We're going to pray, Father, help me to abide in you at all time. Never to allow anything to disconnect me in Jesus' name. Father, I receive the grace to abide in you at all time and never allow anything to disconnect me from you. In the name of Jesus, Father, I receive the grace, Lord, to abide in you at all time and never to allow anything to disconnect me from you. In the name of Jesus, Father, help me not to allow fame, not to allow money, oh, not to allow being busy in my career to disconnect me from you. Father, help me, Lord, to abide in you at all times. Help me, Lord, to be connected to you as at all times, as my source, as my power. In the name of Jesus, Father, help me to be connected to you at all times so that I can be productive to the maximum you have ordained for me. I receive the grace to be connected to you at all times. In the name of Jesus, I come against every distraction that will disconnect me from you. I come against them today. In a not stand by your mercy. They shall not stand by your mercy. I come against them. In the name of Jesus, every distraction that will disconnect me from you, Father, I come against them. In the name of Jesus, they shall not stand. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're going to pray, Father. 
In these evil days, please strengthen me to walk wisely, making the best use of my time in the name of Jesus, Father. In these evil days, Lord, strengthen me to walk wisely, making the best use of my time in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray by your mercy. In this evil day, Father, help me to walk wisely and make the best use of my time in the name of Jesus. Help me, Lord, not to while away my time. Help me not to waste my time, not to waste my life. In the name of Jesus, in this evil day, Lord, I receive the grace to walk wisely. I receive the grace to walk according to your will. I receive the grace, Lord, in the name of Jesus, to walk with understanding. In the name of Jesus, and make use of the time you have given unto me. In the name of Jesus, in this end time, Lord, I receive the grace, Lord, to walk wisely. I receive the grace, Lord, to walk wisely and to make use of the time you have given unto me. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. We're going to pray. According to Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Father, I receive the grace to do all things because you have strengthened me. I receive the grace to overtake obstacles because you have, you have strengthened me. I receive the grace, Lord, to go higher to where you have ordained me to be because you have strengthened me. I receive the grace, Lord, to conquer lands for you because you have strengthened me. I receive the grace, Lord, to excel in every area of my life because you have strengthened me. I receive the grace to be outstanding because you have strengthened me in the name of Jesus. I can do all things and I will do all things because you have strengthened me in the name of Jesus. I receive strength from above, supernatural strength, supernatural wisdom, excellent spirit to be outstanding in the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. In Daniel chapter 1 verse 19 to 20, despite the fact that Daniel and his three friends were slaves in Babylon, the Bible says they were chosen. And they were put among the wise men. In verse 19 to 20 of Daniel chapter 1. The Bible says, Then the king interviewed them. And among them, none was found like Daniel, Ananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Therefore, they served before the king. And in all matters of wisdom and understanding, about which the king examined them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and astrologers who were in all his realm. They were 10 times better. That is what God wants us to be. He wants us to be outstanding. Because they are said concerning us. He said, you are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be eaten. We're going to pray. Father, in my career, grant me wisdom so that my light will shine brighter and brighter to the glory of your name. Father, in my career, grant me wisdom, Lord, so that my light will shine brighter and brighter to the glory of your name. In the name of Jesus, in my career, Father, grant me outstanding wisdom. In the name of Jesus, make me exceptional in my wisdom, Lord, so that my my light will shine brighter and brighter to the glory of your name. Father, I pray by your mercy in my career, Lord. Grant me wisdom that will set me apart, that will set me high above others in the name of Jesus and make my light shine brighter and brighter to the glory of your name in the name of Jesus, Lord. Father, in my career, grant me wisdom that will be outstanding and make my light shine brighter and brighter to the glory of your name in the name of Jesus. Matthew 5, 16 says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father in heaven we're going to pray father cause my light to shine to shine so brightly before men in the name of jesus father in my career cause my light to shine so brightly in the name of jesus father let me be excellent in all i do let me be outstanding in all i do in my career in all that pertains to me in the name of jesus i receive the grace lord to be outstanding in the name of jesus i receive the grace lord to be outstanding in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. In Genesis 26 verse 2 to 3. There was famine in the land and Isaac was going to take a step. But the Lord appeared to him and said, Do not go down to Egypt. Live in the land of which I shall tell you. Dwell in this land and I will be with you and bless you. For to you and your descendants I give all this land and I will perform the oath which I swore to Abraham your father. God told him, dwell here. I will be with you again to pray, Father. As your hand was with Isaac, let your hand be with me for favor. Hey, Father, as your hand was with Isaac, let your hand be with me in every endeavor, in every decision, in every step I take. Father, let your hand be with me. Let your hand of favor be with me. As your hand was with Isaac, as you directed him, oh, on what to do, let your hand be with me. In the name of Jesus, 
Jesus. Let your hand of favor be with me. In the name of Jesus. Father, let your hand of favor be with me. In the mighty name of Jesus. As your hand was with Isaac. The Bible says, he sowed in that land. In famine. When everybody were complaining. He sowed in that land. And he reaped in multiples of hundreds. Father, I pray in your mercy. Let your hand of favor be with me. In the name of Jesus. So that when others are saying, there's a casting down. I'll be saying there's a lifting up. In the name of Jesus, Father. Let your hands of favor be with me. In the name of Jesus. Let your hands of favor be with me. In the name of Jesus. As it was with Isaac, Father. Let your hands of favor be with me. In the name of Jesus, Father. I decree. Let the boundary lines fall upon me in pleasant places. In my career. When they are making decisions, Lord. The decision they will make will favor me. The decision they will make will favor me. The boundary lines, Lord. The cuts off, Lord, will favor me. In the name of Jesus. The change of policy will favor me. In the name of Jesus, the change of policy will favor me. Any transfer they make will favor me. In the name of Jesus, whatever step, Lord, I take, I will be favored. In the name of Jesus, where there is a garden of people that are influential, I will be favored. In the name of Jesus, in my career, Lord, I will be favored. In Jesus' name, we've prayed. Amen. We're going to pray, Father, in my career, help me to always have a positive influence on the people in Jesus' name. Father, help me, Lord, to always have positive influence on everyone around me in my career in Jesus' name. I receive the grace, Lord, to always have a positive influence of on everyone around me in my career in the name of Jesus. I receive the grace, Lord, to have a positive impact on others in the name of Jesus. I receive the grace, Lord, to have a positive influence on anyone that come across my path in the name of Jesus. I receive the grace to be a salt and a light of the world in the name of Jesus. I receive the grace to be a salt and a light of the world in the name of Jesus. I receive the grace, Lord, to be a salt and a light of the world in everything I do. I receive the grace to have a positive impact in the life of people, to have a positive influence in the life of people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ephesians 2.10 says, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. We're going to pray. Father, help me to always think of being a blessing to others. Help me to always do good works to others. Help me to always do something that will touch the life of people positively. In the name of Jesus, Father, help me to always think of being a blessing to others. In the name of Jesus, Father, grant me the grace to always be a blessing to others. In the name of Jesus, I receive the grace to always be a blessing to others. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, Lord, I receive the grace to always be a blessing to others. Everything I do, every decision I do, every step I take, Lord, will be a blessing to the life of others. In the name of Jesus, help me, Lord, to walk in the good works you have ordained for me in my career in the name of Jesus. Help me to walk in the good works you have ordained for me in my career in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Matthew 20 verse 26 to 28 it says, Yet it shall not be so among you, but whoever desires to become great among you, let him be your servant. And whoever desires to be first among you, let him be your slave. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for men. We're going to pray, Father, give me a heart that is committed to serve like Jesus. Give me a heart that is committed to serve like Jesus. Father, give me a humble heart that is committed to serve like Jesus. I receive the grace, Lord. Oh, Father, give me the heart that is committed to serve like Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the grace, Lord, to be submissive. The grace, Lord, to be humble wherever I find myself. Father, grant unto me in the name of Jesus, Lord. Father, give me a heart of service. Give me a heart of service. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I come against every spirit of pride. In the name of Jesus, I come against every spirit of pride in my life. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Oh, give me a heart to be humble. A heart to serve others. In the name of Jesus, a heart to treat people right. Both my bosses and my subordinate, the grace to treat them right. Father, grant unto me in the name of of Jesus, Lord. I receive the grace of service. I receive the grace of service. The grace to be able to serve people in the name of Jesus without an ulterior motive. The grace to be able to serve people with the all of my heart. Father, grant unto me by your mercy. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're going to pray, Father. In my career, help me to enjoy the fruit of my labor. May I not disappear before my glory We appear in Jesus' name, Father, in my career. Help me to enjoy the fruit of my labor. Oh, Lord, grant me the grace to enjoy 
enjoy the fruit of my labor in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, in my career. Help me to enjoy the fruit of my labor. The award I'm supposed to get, Lord, I will get it while I'm alive. The recognition, I will get it while I'm alive. The reward, I will get it while I'm alive. The advert, I will get it while I'm alive. In the mighty name of Jesus, the recommendations, I will get it while I'm alive. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, oh, help me, Lord, to get my reward. Help me, Lord, to enjoy the fruit of my labor while alive in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, help me to enjoy the fruit of my labor while alive in the name of Jesus. We're going to pray. I will not disappear before my glory will appear in the mighty name of Jesus, Father. I will not disappear before my glory will appear in the name of Jesus. I will not disappear. I will not die untimely before my glory appear in the name of Jesus, Father. I will not disappear before my glory will appear in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 13, and also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labor. It is the gift of God. God has ordained that we should enjoy the fruit of our labor. We're going to pray, Father, I shall enjoy the good of my labor in good health and long life. In the name of Jesus, Father, I shall enjoy the good of my labor, the fruit of my labor in good health and long life. In the name of Jesus, Father, no one will enjoy the fruit of my labor before I do. In the name of Jesus, I shall enjoy the good of my labor, the fruit of my labor. In the name of Jesus, oh, in my lifetime, I shall enjoy it. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Proverbs 24, 10 says, if you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. We're going to pray, Father, no matter how hard the situation, may I never quit or give up in trusting you. May I never quit or give up in trusting you, Father, no matter how tough, how hard the situation is. May I never give up in the name of Jesus. Let me not give up, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let me not quit or give up in Jesus' name. Let me not quit or give up in trusting you. Let me not quit or give up in worshiping you. Let me not quit or give up in waiting for you. In the name of Jesus, no matter how hard the situation may be no matter how hopeless the situation may look father help me lord to keep trusting in you to keep waiting on you in the name of jesus oh father strengthen me so i will not faint in the day of adversity father strengthen me not to faint in the day of adversity in the name of jesus strengthen me not to faint strengthen me not to fail in the day of adversity in jesus name we pray second chronicles 15 7 says but you be strong and do not let your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. We're going to pray, Father. Oh, strengthen me, Lord. I pray my hands shall not be weak, and I shall be rewarded in the name of Jesus. Father, strengthen me, Lord. Do not let my hands be weak, and let me receive my reward in the name of Jesus. Father, according to your word, you said I should be strong. My hands shall not be weak. Ah, Father, my work shall be rewarded in the name of Jesus. Father, according to your word, I decree, I will be strong, Lord. My hands will not be weak, and I shall be rewarded. My work shall be rewarded in the name of Jesus. Even the areas, Lord, are pending. You will pay them forward to me. In the name of Jesus, Father, I decree. Wherever it is that my benefits have been held down. Father, Lord, let them be paid to me right now. In the name of Jesus, I receive them right now by your mercy. I receive them right now by your mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, we thank you for today. Thank you for the grace you have given us to pray once again. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have granted us productivity in our life, in our career, and all that pertains to us. Blessed be thy name, Father. Thank you, Lord, for testimonies that we are bound. Thank you, Lord, for doors that we open unto us. Thank you, Father, because you will make all things to work to our good in Jesus' name. We receive strength, Lord, to be productive. We receive the wisdom to be productive. Father, we thank you for you have granted it unto us. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for praying with me, brethren. Don't forget to like, to share, to comment, and to subscribe. God bless you. Shalom.